All right, welcome to part two of making a cartoon in After Effects. I hope you saw the first one. You don't have to see it to watch and follow along with this one, but we basically created this walk animation cycle with this guy and uh, it was super fun to make, but now it's time to actually drop him into a world. And that is also just a bunch of random little doodles that you basically put back together in After Effects. So as we saw in part one, you basically wanna just kind of stand over your paper, take a photo, and then bring that into your computer in After Effects and clean it up and put it all together. Now in our case, we're gonna create a composition where we're gonna kind of have a side scroller action of our character walking through a space. So instead of having the position of the character animate, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new camera, I'm gonna create a new null object, and I'm gonna parent the character and the camera to that null object so that basically when we're moving things, it's all moving together. Now, if the scene is empty, this looks like nothing's happening, but once you add things in here and you see how they're kind of like trailing away, it just gives you that parallax automatically. So the main trick is just to make sure that these layers are 3D as you're bringing them in and that you're positioning them correctly in 3D space on the Z axis so that you're getting the right dimensionality of the scene. And that gives you this really cool parallax effect. And all you have to do from there is just enrich the scene and keeping track of where you are placing things in uh, Z space or in a way that looks right to camera. Now, one thing I'll note for these uh, props that I did that I, I think was kind of cool because it saved me a bunch of time is, uh, for example, these boxes, I just created the basic shapes of a few of them. And then separately, I added different elements like tape or cracks or decals and text. And I can basically use those same base models in a way of the boxes and just make them look different by adding all these kind of like modular accents to them. And I kind of kept this idea of efficiency with everything in my scene. So if I could draw something once and not twice, I would do that. And that helps a lot, especially with things like trees. Uh, you know, maybe you just wanna draw the branch of the tree and then just a few leaves and duplicating that around in Photoshop or After Effects later to save you a bunch of time instead of having to draw every single leaf because I don't think anybody wants to do that. So that's basically it. I just want to kind of keep showing you how I built up this scene. But as I'm doing this, uh, I don't know if you're interested in knowing what this project is even about, but it's a cartoon for now. But I would love to turn it into a video game in Unreal Engine where it's uh, kind of like a side scroller, top down, 2.5D game that also has a tower defense element to it. Uh, I've been getting into game development and my favorite thing to do is just mishmashing a bunch of genres that feel like they would be fun together. And that's kind of the goal with this game. Uh, so yeah, part three of this series will be actually to follow this into Unreal Engine and actually, you know, make it into a game. I appreciate you coming along for this journey. Uh, I hope you found the After Effects portion and making a cartoon interesting because that on its own, you can already tell stories, you can make animations, you can make films. It's so fun and exciting. And one thing I'll say here on a personal note, as this scene is kind of shaping up, it might seem really complex, it might seem like, you know, overwhelming and daunting, uh, especially if you don't feel super confident in your drawing abilities. But let me tell you, these are just sketches and doodles and it doesn't matter how bad of a drawer you think you are, uh, you just gotta do it. Because if you embrace it enough, one, that could be your style. If it's a little janky, you can embrace it and say, hey, this is just the look of it. And if not, and you're not satisfied, you gotta start somewhere and then eventually you'll build up those skills with practice and you'll get better to reach the actual style that you wanna do. So don't give up, just have fun and experiment. Nobody's gonna, you know, watch over your shoulder or anything. So yeah, just wanted to say that because honestly, I had such a fun time doing this and I feel like other people could also have a lot of fun, but you know, we all have doubts and we're so hard on ourselves. So just get all that out of the way and get started and have fun. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are interested in hand-drawn elements that you wanna add for maybe accents on your edits or even in your animations, I have a whole pack of hand-drawn elements along with a bunch of other tools for filmmakers and editors on my website i highly encourage you to check them out of course they support me and my channel but i really think that they're useful and i actually use them in almost all my projects so yeah thanks again for watching my name is chris trini for chris Quart, and i'll see you next time I'm about to pull out,